How much control should dead relatives have over the gifts they give to their heirs? Davis v. U.S. Bank National Association shows under what circumstances an heir can change the choices made by the dead. Lorenz heirs executed a trust for the benefit of his grandson, Harold Davis. After Davis's death, the trust assets were to be distributed to Davis's children. If Davis's children didn't survive him, the assets would go to his heirs at law. And if he had no heirs, then the assets would go to Lafayette College. The trust appointed Mercantile Trust Company National Association as the trustee. Davis had two children, Dylan and Marguerite. Davis filed a petition on behalf of himself and his children to remove Mercantile as the trustee, appoint U.S. Trust Company of Delaware as successor trustee, and then transfer the trust assets to U.S. Trust. Davis petitioned for this change because U.S. Trust charged lower fees than Mercantile, allowed an independent investment advisor, and was located within a 30-minute drive of Davis's home whereas Mercantile was located several states and several hundred miles away. The court granted summary judgment to Davis and ordered removal of Mercantile and appointment of U.S. Trust as trustee. Mercantile appealed, arguing that Davis failed to join all necessary parties, that he had a conflict of interest in representing his children, and that changing the trustee was inconsistent with the material purpose of the trust.